Can you now name a person whom you thoroughly understand and who has no secrets from you? The story begins on the day of Kate's college entrance examination in 2009, when her long ill mother passed away. Actually, her family had been somewhat prepared, so there wasn't much excessive emotion. Moreover, to avoid affecting her exam performance, they lied to her, saying that her mother was just hospitalized and would take her to see her mother after the exam. After the exam, what awaited her was her mother's funeral. In Kate's heart, there was always a knot. One year after her mother's death, Kate was in her second year of college. She was no longer a child, and there were similar situations among her classmates. She realized that her father was still young and should find another companion. Sometimes during father-daughter conversations, she had tried to probe a few times, but her father always showed great resistance, sometimes even lecturing her. She thought that her father must have had deep feelings for her mother and couldn't get over it for a while. Time flew to 2017. She had boyfriend and had made some achievements in her work field, holding a managerial position. In June, on the anniversary of her mother's death, she went home to accompany her father and pay tribute to her mother. That evening, she suddenly wanted to eat hot pot, so her father took her to a hot pot restaurant. Her father was always distracted and had a couple of drinks. On the way home, she noticed that the lights in their house were on, and it seemed like someone was moving inside. Since it was still daylight when they left, she was sure that the lights were not on at home. So she pointed it out to her father. Dad, why are our lights on? Her father casually said. Ah, uh, maybe your mom came back. Kate's heart tightened, and then her father said. Hey, where is the light on? You got the floor wrong. Kate didn't pursue it further. When she got home, there was nothing unusual. She washed up and went to her bedroom to sleep. The desk she used to do homework when she was a child was now covered with her work materials and her computer. After tidying up and preparing to rest, she suddenly found an old family album under some of her materials. She hadn't seen this album for several years. So she found it strange to see it here. When she opened it, she found that the faces of her parents had been repeatedly touched and had become blurred. She remembered her father saying that her mother had come back, and she felt strange. She should miss her mother very much, but for some reason, she felt the room was particularly cold. After tidying up, she lay in bed to rest. When she was drowsy, she saw the door being slowly pushed open, and her mother's voice rang out. Kate, my sweet, when I left you didn't see me off. Your dad is asleep now. Will you send me back today? She felt a lump in her throat and quickly got up to find her shoes. After putting them on, she followed out in a daze. She said that they walked for a long time and neither of them said a word until they came to a bridge. Her mother told her to come over, but she said she was too tired and wanted to go home. At this time, an old woman rushed out and scolded her mother, pushing her back and saying, Silly girl, don't you recognize your own mother? Go back and look at the photos. She walked back inexplicably, and at this time she vaguely felt danger behind her. 
Then she heard the sound of rapid footsteps on the water behind her. She turned around and saw a woman with a pale face, wet hair, her head tilted back, eyes looking down at her, mouth open, running towards her. The key point was that she didn't recognize this person at all. She quickly ran back and luckily met her father who had come out to look for her. She narrowly escaped. After returning home, she started to have a high fever and dreamed of sitting in the back seat of her father's car with her mother, with a woman sitting in the passenger seat, never turning her head and not showing her face. Every time, her mother would push her out of the car with all her strength. She said that during that time, every time she briefly woke up from the fever, she found her father looking at her with tears streaming down his face. She finally understood what was going on. Many years ago, when her mother was bedridden, her father had already found a new love and even opened a clothing store for this woman. However, after her mother's death, her father had a change of heart. He knew how much money he was making, and he was getting older. He wanted to break off the relationship with this woman and pave the way for his daughter's future. But when the other party saw that the main person was gone, she thought her opportunity had come. She always threatened her father, saying that if he didn't get married with her, she would make a fuss at his daughter's school. Even in the 2010, during Kate's first year of college, that summer, on the anniversary of her mother's death, she insisted on going to see her mother with her father, claiming to be acquainted with her sister or something. They have some altercation on the way, and the woman grabbed the steering wheel, causing the car to plunge into a large fish pond. The father survived, but the woman did not come up. Afterwards, her aunt took care of her father for a while and kept everything from Kate. Kate only understood why. During her first summer vacation in college, she felt that her father was particularly weak when she came back. He said he had sold the car and took her traveling everywhere, almost not staying at home for the entire summer vacation. Kate got better day by day, but her father gradually declined and was diagnosed with cancer. Once, Kate took boyfriend to the hospital to see her father. Because it was Sunday, her father's friends and some relatives from home, many people came to visit her father. On the way back, boyfriend was making associations, saying, hey, the one with the curly coat, the one in the pink dress. What should I call him? Tall uncle. What should I call people? Making associations. Suddenly, boyfriend said, Hey, the one who always sits at the head of the bed. The one with wet hair. As if she just washed her hair. With her face up and mouth open. What should I call her? She doesn't seem to be in good condition. Her complexion is not good. Kate's heart tightened at that moment because she felt something was wrong. She had never told boyfriend about this experience, which means boyfriend must have really seen it. She found her aunt, and her aunt found a Taoist priest to help her father recover his health, but her father was very resistant to these things and was always scolded away. Until the last moment of her father's life, he called Kate to his bed, holding her hand, and said, Kate, I know she's always been there. I can't shake her off. Adult matters have nothing to do with you. When we were underwater, I deliberately pressed her down and didn't let her come up. I owe her, and I owe your mother and you even more. Afterwards, she recalled that the one with her head up, mouth open, and completely wet, wasn't that the expression of struggling underwater. 